Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. What I like to say, the podcast used to be called Stay Creative. So if, the pod, if you hear me say Stay Creative and say, what does it mean? It's called Create Like a God. The podcast used to call Stay Creative. Now it transformed itself to evolve into Create Like a God. I changed the name. So these are the first, first like I said, 2020, maybe 60, 70 possibly episodes that was called Stay Creative. And I changed the name later on so but thank you for tuning in today's episode make sure you go leave a five-star rating and review of the podcast do it right now and while you're doing that we can get to our sponsors welcome to the podcast to expand your imagination creativity and your innovation the podcast to build upon your creativity your entrepreneur you're an artist and you're an artist you are an entrepreneur and you got to put yourself out there with a personal dose of personal initiative and being boldly and authentically putting your work out there. This is the Stay Creative Podcast. Your host, Jaron Mitchell, a.k.a. Jaron Winning Mitchell, because I am a winner. <laughs> but anyway, still working on that intro. I'm out, that's probably said that like a few times already, but we're still working on the inf- intro. I have to sit down, write down, and actually write down and have it drilled into my head. So today's topic we're going to be talking about today is reasons why artists should think like an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? So think like an entrepreneur or think like a business person, you can say, because what your what, what your art, what you're creating is a business. Your life is a business. No matter what you're doing is a business. So the reason why I came up with this, because, um, you know, this is me realizing things and I, I, I learned from books and other other, you know, me. I'm a, I, live, I read a lot of books, so I'm not sure if you guys know that. Um, if you follow me on social media or even on Facebook, but um, I read a lot of books. Uh, and the books that I read is personal development and the things that I kind of realize that as business, even podcasts too. I listen to a lot of podcasts, other type of podcasts, which you already know that I listen to the Work on the Game podcast. If you haven't gone ahead and subscribed to it, go ahead and subscribe to it. And y'all, he's getting subscriptions from me too, but I don't care. Uh, because I want to get you, I want to give you guys value so that way y'all can change your lives and become the best version of yourself and become a better creator, innovator, and build upon your imagination. So, but me getting to the point, I mean, not to the point, but me talking about this is that I come to realize when I woke, you know, I come to realize only just as I just woke up one day, I, it might be just ideas that come into my head and my subconscious mind working. I don't know. It's, it's not like I'm coming with ideas that these things coming straight out of my ass, <laughs> but it's just a lot of things that I read and I realize that, you know, as an artist, we are entrepreneurs. We got to think like an entrepreneur. We got to learn business. And that's one of the part things. You got to learn a business. And a lot of artists, I don't think they don't know that or they do know or they don't like want to do it which i suggest you do it because you put your work out there you want people to buy your work right you want people to purchase your drawing or purchase or hire you for something to for you to make or you to develop or, or create i would say so let's get to these points point number one you are a business which i talked about that you are a business making art is a business you know you're spending money you're, you're here to make money with your art. So I'm going to talk about this. this is going to be tomorrow's episode, which is talking about why artists should learn sales, because, you know, there's a lot of people. <laughs> I'm quite sure, you, you know, a lot of I've been looking it up. A lot of people want to do things for free. So I'm going to say that. Fuck that. Don't do. I mean, do you can do certain. I think Gary Vee talks about doing stuff for free. There's certain things you can do free. But when somebody talks about, oh, I can pay you back later or I give you more or this, I give you more exposures because I got a lot of followers or this and that and awesome other things, man. Fuck that shit. OK, fuck that shit. You you go ahead and know. You, and this is another thing. I haven't put this on this point, but know your value. OK, if you if you want if you want to make money with your art, you got to know your value. OK, your art is your business. You got to pay the bills. Right. You got to eat food. Right. So you got to treat this like a business and also something that you love doing. OK, you know, you can create do, you know, have commissions, you know what I'm saying? Do commissions for people. Have this online you know art on the side which i'm still working on I, i'm still developing myself but i understand because i've been working on this business aspect of myself working this business aspect of myself so that way i can keep on working on it you know keep on working on myself keep on building upon myself so that that's 
that's the reason why I know your value. You know, the, a great book is um, um, this is coming on the top of my head, but it's a subtle art of not giving a fuck. By I think his name is Mark Manson. The author's name could be wrong, but um, there's a uh, thing that kind of that that got me. It was um, it, it, it was who what artist was it? I think it was Pablo Picasso. I think it was him, and um, he drew he drew something on a napkin. He drew, you know, something on a napkin, and this lady came around. I'm, parapha I'm paraphrasing the story and everything. I'm just thinking about the top of my head. But this lady came around, and um, she said, "Oh, you know, she saw he created beautiful art, and he created, and um, she, she, uh, she said she was, uh, he was about to throw it away, actually, but she wanted it, and I guess he offered her. I think he was like ten thousand or something like that. I don't really remember. I have to read that book and go out. Well, the audio book. I'm about to get the paperback book, but. You know, she was she was like, why? You only created that in like a few minutes. And he said, no, it took me 10. I think he said 10 to 15 years to create this. So you got to know your value. You know, we're every day we're creating, we're building and working on each other, uh, working on our art, practicing every day, every day. You know, to get to your level that you want to think about it, 10,000 hours. Right. You got to spend 10,000 hours a master something. So you, you got to know your value, know your value of your work. That's what I'm saying. And you got to spend you, you, you and, and this is your business. You're going to have to spend the tools, you know what I'm saying, that you're using to create the art, the software that you're creating or whatever software you're using and other type of tools that you're using to build to make this, to make this piece, to make this design that you have, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, you know, uh, few, three artists, um, you know, they got free ones. But um, Maya, ZBrush, um, Blender is free. But um. Yeah, so this is the reason why um, you know your art is your business. You're spending money, and another thing is the five forms of investment is time, money, time, money, energy, focus, and attention. You're spending those. Those are your five forms of investment. You're spending time on those, and even with money, it doesn't matter. You're spending money, and that's the way which I'm gonna talk about investing in yourself as an artist to become better. So let us get to point number two. You know what I'm saying? And I, I talked a little bit about this. And what point number one is you are selling your artwork. You're selling your work. So you're pitching ideas. A great book you can go check out is um, Grant Cardone. He talks about this um, sell or be sold. You know, no matter what you're doing, you're selling something. Um, was it Eric Nightingale? You know, he talks about this pitch, uh, pitching ideas, selling your ideas to your family, your wife, your, your kids. You know, you're selling something. Everyone is selling something. OK, you got to learn how to sell. Learn how to make a pitch. You know what I'm saying? Which pitch is like some with a Hollywood type thing with a producer is and you only have like a few minutes or a few seconds to pitch them something to get their attention. You know, that's one of their five. That's one of the five forms of investment. But you got to learn how to sell. You know, Grant Cardone said this. He said no matter what type of product it is that he can sell it. You know, you can sell it. You just got to learn how to write, learn how to do it, but learn how to sell. It's um, also with um, all which I'm going to talk about on tomorrow's episode. But that is point number two. You know what I'm saying? Reasons why artists should think like an entrepreneur is that <laughs> you got to sell. You got to learn how to sell. You're selling your ideas. You're selling somebody on this piece of, uh, or your drawing, your artwork. You look, you're looking at your art and you're giving them value. you knowing your value as how much you're paying, how much you're charging. And you're learning how to sell. You know, you're selling your artwork. This person likes your art. They want to buy a piece. You know what I'm saying? You want to, they want to buy a, a copy, a print, or whatever it is. And sales is the highest paid profession. But no matter what you're doing, you're selling. This podcast that you're listening to, I'm actually selling you to listen to this podcast. The things that I'm talking about. The, the last previous episodes that I talked about, hopefully you guys go and listen to those episodes. If you haven't, Go ahead. I suggest you go back, listen to the podcast episodes. You're going to know what I'm talking about. So that way you can expand your creativity, imagination and innovation and build upon it. And, um, yeah, build upon it. So sales is the highest paid profession. You got to learn how to sell your work. You know what I'm saying? This ain't really more with expanding, but I'm talking about this because you got to know. And I don't think artists know that. And I'm still working on it on myself, to be honest. But that's the reason why I got into business, because I know I understand that as an artist, we're an entrepreneur, and as an entrepreneur, we're an artist. I understand it well, and that's the reason why I'm getting into business, learning a business. And I, I, I love business. I love entrepreneurship. I love creating things, you know, creating this podcast, recording every day. Um, not the day that you, not the day you're listening to this that I'm, I'm talking about, but I love it. 
You know, it, it, it feels this great little rush and it's cool. I like it. I feel like I'll be able to do something. But you got to learn how to do um, sales. Sales is the highest paid profession. If you want to get paid. You want to make money. If you want to put food on the table, you want clothes on your back. You want to feed your kids. Learn how to sell. And Greg Cardone, Greg Cardone talks about this. He, he talks about how saying that, uh, that, you know, making a budget. You know what I'm saying? Don't make a budget. Make more sales. Start selling more. You know, double on your sales. 10X is his, one of his brands. is a 10X rule. That's another great book, by the way. I suggest all Grant Cardone books. You know, he, I, I just got the sell, uh, survivor, sales cl um, closing survivor guide. But get to, let's get to point number three on re five reasons why I, I mean, five reasons why artists should think like an entrepreneur. Point number three is your mindset is your results. Yes, your mindset is your results. And there's a book called Mindset. I forgot the author's name, but it's two types of mindset. It's a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. You know, the fixed mindset is the person that um they don't believe they can do, they can, you know, improve. They believe it's stuck like this and it is forever. It's not there's no improvement. They don't believe in no improvement. There's self-limitations on all themselves. A growth mindset believes there's improvement, no matter what. You know, they believe there's improvement. There's always um, room to improve. And they keep on, they have this mindset that they know they can get better. Fixed mindset doesn't. So whatever results that you have as an artist, you know what I'm saying, thinking as an entrepreneur, is that um, your results, the way you think, I talked about this on previous episodes. That's the reason why I decided with this podcast to do, also do personal development, which is you are staying creative no matter what you're doing, positive and negative. You are creating your life. No matter what your career you're doing. So what you if you think about these negative thoughts, these limited beliefs, these this type of fixed mindset where that you don't believe those no improvement, your art's not gonna improve. Your work not gonna improve. You're not even gonna make any sales because you think a certain way. You have this fixed mindset that you believe that nothing can't be improved. You can't be improved, it's like this, and it's always will be like this. You know, and I'm going at this on the top of my head. I remember I haven't read that book in a while. But I suggest you go ahead and get pick up that book and read that book because it will help you. It will help you with your work. It will help you with your creativity. It will help you with your imagination. And it will help you with your innovation. Because guess what? Like I said before, first it starts within the mind. Then it becomes reality. You know what I'm saying? You got to work on your internal self first. And that's part of your business. Working on yourself is your business, which leads to point number four. As five reasons why artists should think like entrepreneurs, personal development, working on yourself. You know, I talked about it on uh, three, but you got to work on yourself, personal development. Keep reading books. Keep developing yourself to become the best version of yourself. And you may be able to contact with um, with other people. You know what I'm saying? Work on yourself. You may attract people. You may get attract people with your work and you keep working on yourself and knowing that you can grow, have a, this growth mindset. You can probably attract people to um, want to buy your art or they ask questions and they want to learn how to buy your art or they ask you other questions. How you draw this? How you draw that? You know, be so good. They can't ignore you. <laughs> you know, I think I've said that before. Be so good. They can't ignore you, which let me get to point number five, which I talked about it a little earlier. But point number four is five reasons why art, uh, artists should think like an entrepreneur is networking. I talked it on, I believe, not the previous episodes, but the reasons why I created the podcast, um, the Stay Creative podcast is networking. You know, people don't want to network. You know, get pick up the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. You know what I'm saying? Get to know a little bit of, you know, politics. I'm not the, talking about the politics is that like in like the politics of elections and stuff like that, but in the workspace. You know what I'm saying? Get to know people. You know what I'm saying? Put yourself in certain positions where you can get to where you want to be. You know, it depends. You know, you can make it, you know, like I said before, your choices and decisions make, make, um, actually control i mean i won't say control but actually create the life that you want but learn your you know learn uh, learn from the decisions that you're going to make but also you know you don't have to pick everything but anyway let me go back to this and networking you know what i'm saying if you want to know how to do networking pick up um book how to win friends and influence people learn how to win friends learn how to influence people you know I, i'm doing this right now hopefully i am i have influenced you to go ahead and pick up that book i influence you in opening your mindset that oh okay this is how you know, artists should think how to uh, pick up, uh, learn how to sell, or we should think like an entrepreneur, or we need to have a growth mind, or have a growth mindset. You know, I, uh, I'm hopefully influencing you guys doing that. I hope I'm influencing that. You know, uh, face beyond your fears. You know, with the uh, what I talked about yesterday's episode, which is 
the biggest real estate is the graveyard. You know, face your fears. Face your fears, go out and do that, and learn how to network with people. Network with people, work on yourself. It does not give, I don't give a fuck, because I was an introvert, and I don't give a fuck when nobody says, you can be, you can go out there as an introvert, you can go out there and connect and talk to people. It does not fucking matter. I don't care what nobody fucking says. You can go out there and win friends and influence people. You don't have to be this, you know, extrovert. You can be on, you can go on and put yourself out there, put your art out there. I don't, I don't care. That's just, to me, that's just a fucking excuse. And I don't like that excuse, you know, an introvert. Oh, I'm an introvert. You know, I don't like really putting myself out there. No, you know, everyone wants to put themselves out there. It does not matter, you know, if you're extrovert, introvert. You can, I, can, I think you can convert yourself into an extrovert. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, extrovert. If I'm saying that right, I'm saying that right. My, my English is like kind of battering, <laughs> whatever that word means. <laughs> but <clears throat> learn how to network. If you want to learn how to be, you know, learn business, you know, you can go ahead, go to win, jaronwinnemitchell.com, go ahead, go there, and you can become, we can become potential business partners. We can work together with, along with my mentor, so that way you can learn how to build an online digital, this is an online business, online digital business, and learn 90%, uh, 90% of the stuff done for you, 90% It's not a get quick, get rich quick scheme, but you got to put in the work, just like anything else, you know, and I, I'm going to talk about this too as an artist, you know what I'm saying, as art. If you're doing an artist, you're an artist. I mean, if you're an artist or any that writer or anything like that, never depend on one source of income. Keep having multiple sources of income, but you always got to take care of your one source of income first. But network. If you want to know how to network, you can go ahead, jaronwinnemitchell.com. Go ahead, go to the free workshop. So you that way you can learn how to build an online digital business. And you can work with me and my mentors. And we not just work with anybody, like I said before. We um if your mindset ain't there, we, we're not gonna do business because you know, your mindset, like I said, your mindset, the way you think is going to lead to your results. Yeah, I paused a little bit right there. What you think is going to lead to your results. And that's the reason why I came up with the five reasons why artists should think like an entrepreneur. You know, so let's recap on today's topic, which is five reasons why you should think like an entrepreneur. Point number one is you are in business. You are making art. You are making money. You in a, you in the art of making business. I mean, not making business, but you in the art of being an entrepreneur into a business. Your art is your business. What you're creating is your, you know, you're, you're spending money on tools, software. So that way you can create your art and sell your art to others, which is going to point number two is learn how to do sales. Learn how to um, learn sca- sales skills, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow's episode. Learn how to um, build in sales skills, because guess what? Sales is the highest paid profession. Learn how to pitch. Uh, pick up the book uh, from Grant Cardone, Sell or Be Sold in the 10X Rule, and also Be Obsessed and Be Average. I suggest you go ahead and pick up that book. But sales is the highest paid fe- uh, professions. Point number three, your mindset is your results. I talked about this, your mindset and results. If you have a fixed mindset, you don't believe that you can improve, or you have this horrible mindset, you know, this limited be- this limited mindset of limited um, limited beliefs that's holding you back, it's yourself. Like I um, said in in previous episodes, which is, you know, first it starts within the mind, then it becomes reality. And another quote is, too, I'll say from um, Proverbs, um, um, African, not Proverbs, from the Bible, but um, African Proverbs says the um, the enemy within. No, no. When there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. So you are the worst enemy of yourself. No criticism, but fixed mindset. You You have a growth mindset. Pick up the book. Mindset. And I've talked about a lot about this with personal development. That's point number four. Work on yourself. Keep building upon yourself because your yourself, you, yes, you is your business. You listen to this podcast. Me, I never thought about this. I never spoke like this before, but it is my business. Working on yourself is your business, and you must learn how. I don't say learn how, but work on yourself. With you to point number five, networking. Go ahead and networking. In my school, I'm going to school right now, which is Los Angeles Film School. Uh, what I learned, you know, is the network is also to connect with others. You know, that's the reason why I went to school. I'm gonna have a topic on that. Reasons why you should go to school, but um, reasons why you're not, you should not go to school. But network, build upon because guess what? It's not who you know, it's what you know. Politics. Yes, there's gonna be a little bit of politics. Go ahead and search on the. Um, Working Game Podcast, there's a podcast episode with Dre talking about that. Go ahead and listen to it. 
you know, network, build upon, learn, pick up the book, how to win friends and influence people. Always working on yourself. I, I suggest a lot of books right now. So you go ahead and do that now and keep building upon your creativity, imaginations, work on yourself. And these are good for my artists. Five reasons why you should think like an entrepreneur. Stay creative at jeremitchell.com. The more you learn, the more you earn. AI, Affiliate Institute, is an educational platform specialized in teaching affiliate marketing. Who's it for? Those who are struggling to build an online digital business or struggling with their business. Those who wants to build an online digital business. You're learning new skills to build an online digital business, such as copywriting, financing, funnels, content one-on-one, you know, entrepreneurship, uh, influence creativity, content creation, all that you were able to learn from six to seven and eight figure earners and much more. Go ahead and get your free playbook from Julian at jeremmitchellsmasterclass.com. My gift to you and Julian's gift to you by the affiliate, affiliate playbook. Go to jeremmitchellsmasterclass.com and go ahead and pick up your free playbook. A free affiliate playbook. JaronMasterclass.com. The more you learn, the more you earn. Did you enjoy today's episode? Make sure you go ahead and leave a five-star rating and review so that way we can move up in the rankings on the Apple Podcast on iTunes so that way everyone else can see us and not even that, everyone to see what the Create Like a God podcast is about. And make sure you go ahead and follow me. That would be Jaron W. Mitchell. That would be J-A-R-O-N-M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L and if you want to become a monthly contributor of the Create Like a God podcast, become a supporter. Become a monthly contributor if you want to help me post content every single day. I'm doing it anyway, but actually more efficiently. Okay, so make sure you go ahead. You can contribute to $0.99 per month, $4.99 per month, and $9.99 per month. And that will be you going to anchor.fm forward slash Jaron Mitchell, which is J A R O N M I T C H E L L again. Anchor FM, anchor.fm forward slash Jaron Mitchell, which is J A R O N M I T C H E L L. You can go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. That would be Jaron W. Mitchell. So talk to you guys tomorrow. And thank you. Really appreciate it. The more you learn, the more you earn. AI, Affiliate Institute, is an educational platform specialized in teaching affiliate marketing. Who's it for? Those who are struggling to build an online digital business or struggling with their business. Those who want to build an online digital business. You're learning new skills to build an online digital business, such as copywriting, financing, funnels, content one-on-one, you know, entrepreneurship. Uh, influence, creativity, content creation, all that you were able to learn from six to seven and eight figure earners and much more. Go ahead and get your free playbook from Julian at jaronmitchellsmasterclass.com. My gift to you and Julian's gift to you by the affiliate, affiliate playbook. Go to jaronmitchellsmasterclass.com and go ahead and pick up your free playbook. A free affiliate playbook, jaronmasterclass.com. The more you learn, the more you earn. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm new. That's anchor.fm new to get started.